Hey everyone, this is Jen Sheffer, Certified Google Trainer, Instructional Technology Specialist and Mobile Learning Coach for Burlington Public Schools. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change your font style, size, and line spacing and set those changes to your default. This is really convenient for students because what this means is each time you start a Google Doc, you won't have to manually change the font style from Arial to Times New Roman you won't have to change the size from 11 to 12, and you won't have to manually change that line spacing from 1.15 to double. Your teachers want you to use double spacing, and they also want you to use size 12 times New Roman. Once you make these changes and you set them as your default, every time you open a Google Doc, those default styles will be applied to your Google account. So this is great not only for you as a high school student, but when you get to college as well, your professors will most likely ask you to use those same settings. So here's how you do it. It's really simple. You can see here I have a paragraph of text. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to highlight it. And now I'm going to select my font, Times New Roman, my size, 12, and my line spacing, double. Next what I'll do is I'm going to come over to the Styles drop-down menu and I'm going to click on that side menu for normal text and I'm going to select Update Normal Text to Match. And then the last thing I need to do is select that Normal Text drop-down, go to the very bottom where it says Options, and then select Save as my default styles. I received the notification that those styles have been saved. Now, just to be on the safe side, let's test this. So what we'll do is we'll go to File, New, Document. And when that document opens, we should see that our font style is Times New Roman, our size is 12, and then lastly, the spacing is set to double. So it did save those settings, and now I don't have to worry about manually changing anything. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please come see me or any of the student geniuses here in the help desk. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for additional EdTech tutorials.